What's up y'all, it's Naja from All Things Naja and I'm back with another video. What happened at the New Orleans? So as I'm sure most of you can see, my background is a lot different. And it's because I'm gonna be doing a new little thing here. I noticed that a lot of my Cricut videos picked up as far as people wanting to see more. A lot of people have been commenting that they wanted to see more of the videos, that they want me to go more in detail. But a lot of you have been saying that you want me to start from the beginning. So I feel like the first Cricut video that I posted was a little advanced for people who just went out and got a Cricut. And due to the whole thing that's going on right now, a lot of people cleared the Crickets off of Michael's site, cleared the Crickets off of Walmart site. A lot of people bought crafting machines so the only problem with that is that when you first buy crafting machines like me at first you have no idea how to use them so I decided I'm gonna start this whole new series on my channel right here called Cricut 101 and what Cricut 101 is gonna be is literally going to be me showing you step by step how to do certain things with Cricut instead of just putting two or three different skills together in one video. I, I will be doing those, but those will be a little bit further down the line of Cricut 101. For Cricut 101 episode one, we're gonna work on must-haves and essentials for beginning cricketers. I'm gonna show you guys the things that you need to buy when you first purchase your Cricut because I know everyone starts off so confused going back and forth to Michaels, going back and forth to Amazon, and going back and forth to Walmart. I'm gonna show you the things that you absolutely need to start and a few of the things that you, you know, it's nice to have when you first start. Here we go. So starting off before anything, of course you will need a Cricut machine. Now there are two different Cricut machines that are very popular right now and those are the Cricut Explore Air 2 and the Cricut Maker. I have the Cricut Explore Air 2. I love the Cricut Explore Air 2. It's very easy to use once you get the hang of it and it's a really convenient machine to have when you're a crafter and you want to take your crafting to the next level. So most of the Cricut machines work over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So you can design from your iPhone or iPad or just as well as your laptop or computer. I personally use my computer. The Cricut machines are easy to use, they're very versatile and they're only limited by your creativity. So I know people have heard the term the die cutting machine. So the Cricut Explore Air 2 is a die cutting machine. You can think of it like a printer, like basically you create an image or a design on your computer and you send it to the machine to cut. Except that instead of printing the design, the Cricut machine cuts it out of whatever material you want. The Cricut Explore Air 2 can cut paper, vinyl, fabric, craft foam, sticker paper, and a lot of other materials. Now the rest of the materials I'm going to show you in my hands because obviously the Cricut Explore Air T was just a little bit too heavy for me to be holding up to the camera. But here we go for the rest of the essentials. When you buy a Cricut, you need to understand that you will need a computer or a laptop or an iPad or some people even use their iPhone. But for people who are beginners, it's probably going to be a lot easier for you to use the laptop or computer. The, the laptop that I currently have is the HP MV360 and it works fine with Cricut, but you do not have to get a laptop that is this expensive because this one was quite expensive. You can work with a regular old HP laptop or you know, anything that's more up to date. Obviously you don't wanna use a dinosaur, but you can use a simpler laptop than that. Whenever you purchase your new Cricut machine, you need to purchase a tool set now this is a mixture of a bunch of different tool sets because I have purchased a lot of different ones from losing different tools and needing different ones and then when I moved from my last house to this one I was able to find all of the ones that I missed so basically I have a few of them I don't have all of them but these are the ones that you really need so the first thing that comes in a tool set is this little scraper and it looks like this and basically what this scraper does is it help you, it can help you to scrape the vinyl onto the mat. It helps you stick down things to make sure that they're perfectly adhered to either the mat 
or your project. Some of the other tools that come in the basic tool set look like this. Okay, I have these two which are the same. This is my favorite. Don't mind what's whatever's on it. I think I got glue on it. This is my favorite weeding tool. It works the best for me when I'm trying to weed vinyl off of the backing. Then there are some that look just like it except it has a little bit more of a hook on it like a little bit more of a hook like that. I don't really use this one too much but it is the second best to me that I would use. One of the other things that I use but not too often but I do use it is the Cricut like little tweezers and they look just like this. And they're very sharp at the ends. I say that that is one of the most essential things you need to purchase when you purchase your Cricut. Let's get into the next most important thing. Of course, you're going to need vinyl. When using the Cricut, the most common thing that people like to use with it is vinyl. I'm going to show you all different types of vinyl. This is not my whole stockpile. I have a lot of vinyl. But these are different types that you guys probably won't know right off the bat. So I'm going to show you different types. So the first different types is premium vinyl. And it comes like this. One of them is permanent glossy premium vinyl. And the other one is removable matte premium vinyl. These both can be used for decor, decals, and other types of projects that you can find around the house. This is the most common type for new beginners to use other than iron-on, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you guys three different types of iron-on vinyl. First, I'm going to show you everyday iron-on vinyl, and it looks like this. A lot of beginners with Cricut like to start off with everyday iron-on vinyl because a lot of people buy the Cricut because they want to make shirts and clothes. Strong Bond iron-on vinyl is the best because it's long-lasting. Other than that type of iron-on vinyl, we have Strong Bond patterned iron-on vinyl. This is the pattern I have it in. It comes in different patterns on the insides and you can see right there the different types that it comes in. This is also Strong Bond Iron On Vinyl and it's long lasting. And it's just a little bit more fun if you wanna get a little bit more crafty when you're making shirts, when you're making clothes for your loved ones, for yourself, or even for gifts. Now we're getting a little crazy with the Iron On. This is Glitter Iron On Vinyl. Glittered iron-on vinyl is a little bit harder for beginners to work with, but there are tons of YouTube videos out there that will show you exactly how to use your glitter iron-on vinyl. Another type of vinyl that I have in my collection is this adhesive foil, and it looks like this. This is great for projects and different types of decor that you want to put up in your home, or even if you want to create a gift for others to put up in their home. It literally looks just like aluminum foil wrapped around, but it's vinyl and it does stick to projects. If you're using premium vinyl and you're using it to stick things onto walls or you're making decals or you're making labels, you will need transfer tape. I didn't have a new roll, so I'm gonna show you my janky roll right here. I'm gonna show you close up. And it looks just like that. And it's fairly easy to use, but when you are using transfer tape it is very important that you have one of these scrapers or don't tell Cricut I said this but you can use a credit card. The last material that I'm going to show you guys if you are mixing your Cricut with painting or you're mixing your Cricut with different projects this is a stencil material that you can use when you are using design space and you're going on there creating a stencil that you can use to paint your walls, you can use it to paint shirts, you can use it. Maybe you want to stencil out a certain type of saying and you want your kids to paint the words onto a canvas. That's something that I'm really looking forward to doing. You would use this stencil vinyl. Next, getting into the rest of the essentials. Let's just keep it simple and let you guys know that you will need scissors. I have fabric scissors right here as I had in my last video because I told you I can never find scissors upstairs and I'm a little too I'm a little bit too lazy to go downstairs and find the rest of the scissors. But you will need scissors to cut out your vinyl and save your scraps because a lot of people in the Cricut community do not play about wasting your scraps. 
but if you have a little bit more of a budget you can buy what i bought which is this this is a fiskars straight edge cut and i love this thing if you're like me then you hate when your scraps look like a kid cut out paper and then just threw it away so i like my scraps to have a straight edge so i use this straight edge cutter with my scraps or with my paper designs or whatever i'm using for my cricut so that i can save the rest of it and use the rest of it for later one of the next most essential things that you will need when you get a cricut are mats now your cricut machine will come with a standard mat but you will eventually need to purchase a different mat now the mats come in two different sizes, 12 by 12 and 12 by 24. I have both and I have them in different grips. So what I just showed you was this blue one. This is the light grip mat. This pink one is the fabric mat. Then I have a standard grip that comes in 12 by 24. So it's very long. It's literally just double the other mat. Then I have this strong grip 12 by 24 purple mat. These are obviously very essential. You do not have to splurge and get the 12 by 24 if you're not going to be doing projects that take a lot of vinyl. But if you're like me, then you like to do big projects or you like to put multiple projects onto one mat. So I did purchase a few different types of mats. All that have different colors and the colors all indicate a different grip. There is light grip standard grip and strong grip now we're winding down to the end of the video as i said in the middle of the video a lot of people buy the cricut because they want to try the iron on and they want to make shirts i want you guys to know that if you are buying the cricut because you want to make shirts and you want to craft on fabric you do not have to buy the cricut press i want you guys to know that you do not need the cricut easy press if you are starting off if you are starting off and you don't even know how you're gonna like this you do not want to go splurge and spend 100 200 on something that you don't you might not even like so what you can do is take 20 dollars and go buy you a household iron i'm still rocking with the household iron i've had the press machine not the Cricut press machine, but I've had the heat press machine and it gave out on me and it was a lot of money that for something that just gives out on you. And I'm not going against the easy press because I do want to buy one, but I've had my Cricut for almost two years and I'm still rocking with an iron and all the shirts that I have made have adhered. I have washed them and nothing has been wrong with them. So don't let anyone make you think that you need to go purchase the easy press because it is not an essential. It is a luxury. If you plan on trying out the draw function on the Cricut, then you will need these. These are black fine point pens made by Cricut and they can be used to write on cardstock. They can be used to write on paper. You can write invitations. You can write thank you cards. All of that can be found on your Cricut design space. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that will show you exactly how to do it. Unfortunately, I have not tried it yet, but I will be trying it and I will perfect it and I will get to you guys with a video soon. There are two last things that I want to talk to you guys about if you are trying to use the Cricut to make shirts. If you are trying to use the Cricut to make shirts, you will need two things. I have one of them on hand and I'm going to show you, but the other I do not have on hand at the moment due to no one shipping right now and no one having it in stores. But you will need a transfer paper. Transfer paper is what is used to print on and mirror or some of them come when you don't have to mirror them but you print them on and just like the iron on vinyl you iron them on to a shirt and you can get their design that was saved as a print to cut image print it on the paper and print it on the shirt when you iron it on but in order to print it you will need a printer so before you come home from the store with a Cricut and you know you want to use transfer paper and you know you want to make shirts, make sure you have a printer that works. You don't want to have a printer that is trash like the last one that I had. Everyone asked me about that Canon printer and I raved about it on the video. Yes, it was $32, but yes, I had a lot of issues with it and I ended up having to throw it out. So what I did go get was a new inkjet printer and it is a HP 7155. And I am in love with this printer. It is a photo printer. It prints photos perfectly. So just imagine what it can print on a transfer paper 
so that you can put it onto a shirt. So what I, I tell all beginners is to just invest in a printer if you want to make shirts. Iron on vinyl and transfer paper are essential if you are buying the Cricut because you simply want to start making custom shirts. All right, guys, so that was my first episode of Cricut 101. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to be as descriptive as possible without making the video just extremely too long. I hope if you just went out and got your Cricut, you can go back to the store or you can go back on Amazon or Cricut.com and purchase some of the things that I said that were essential in this video. There were a few things that were not essential, but I hope you guys can set them apart because I said, if you plan on doing the blank, so the only things I'm going to just say them right here that are very essential are one, you will need vinyl, two, you need a Cricut, three, you need a laptop, four, you need a tool set, five, you need mats, six, you will need scissors or a way to cut. If you are buying the Cricut because you want to make shirts, I recommend you to buy transfer tape, I recommend you to buy a printer and you will need some way to put it onto the shirt heat wise so I recommend you to buy a household iron those are the essentials that you will need when you are buying a new Cricut maker or Cricut Explorer Air 2 I hope I helped you guys out there will be more Cricut 101 videos thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe and share and I will be back with another Cricut video every Monday thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later